Morvenia. This is just a video to remind you that you have to do the evaluation for your project work. Many of you may have already done this, but some of you probably haven't. As you can see, it's worth a third of your entire project grade. 20 marks out of 60. So you've got to do a written evaluation between 1,600 and 1,800 words. So, this is from the syllabus. Learners must also provide an evaluative analysis of the production, which analyzes and evaluates the production in relation to other professionally produced films or screenplays, including at least three short films totaling a minimum of 80 minutes from the compilation set by the WJEC. So, this is what it says in the syllabus. Learners must complete an evaluation analysis of their production between 1600 and 1800 words and make reference to all short films selected for study from the compilation set by WJEC. So you should have picked at least three short films, totaling 80 minutes, but it might be more. Okay? You have to mention those movies in your evaluation. They should be things that make sense in terms of why you picked them. How do they relate to your movie? Do they cover similar themes? Have they got similar characters? Do they have similar narrative structures? Do they have got similar aesthetics? Whatever. Now, there are certain things you have to cover. These are the bullet points. You must have mentioned all of these if you wanted to pass. First thing, narrative structure of the short film. An analysis of how the narrative features and dramatic qualities of all short films are studied and constructed including through dialogue highlighting key ideas which form the learner's own production. So, you've got to talk about how narrative functions in short films. Talk about how it differs from how narrative functions in feature films. Because a feature film has to be, well, more than 80 minutes, that's the definition, right? You've got an hour and a half in a feature film. You've got time to develop your characters. You've got time to develop the equilibrium, you know, maybe 20 minutes before you do anything to disrupt it. And then you've got your rising action, then you've got your day new morning, you've got your new equilibrium being established. But you don't really have time necessarily to do that in a five minute movie. So what you've got to be able to do is you've got to be able to communicate information with a greater efficiency than you would in a feature film. You've got to get your ideas very quickly and clearly across to the audience. And you can do that using generic conventions, using tropes, using stereotypes and archetypes. It's also the case that, whereas you could argue feature films are like narrative fiction, like a novel, whereas short films can be much more abstract, much more experimental, they can be more like poems, so they can be more like tone poems, because they're not constrained by the same financial necessities of making a profit as a feature film are, because, you know, most short films are produced as sort of like you know, calling cards for the main industry. They're often done in places like university and stuff, okay? You've got to look at the narratives of the short films you've studied and compare them to yours. In what ways are they similar? In what ways are they different? How is yours influenced by them? The next bullet point is cinematic influences. An analysis of how visual and audio elements of other professionally produced films or screenplays, including short films, influence their short film or screenplay. First thing, you're only allowed to talk about films. I don't want to see anybody mentioning television shows, video games, comic books, or any other media format. It's got to be films. They can be short films and they can be feature films. At least three of the films you mentioned must be from that list the WJC listed and of course they need to be listed on your cover sheet but they could be other short films or they could be feature films it also needs to be illustrated now it says at the bottom that they have to be word processed and they may be illustrated with screenshots or screenplay extracts I'm saying it has to be illustrated by screenshots or screenplay extracts I want to see screenshots from your short film or from your storyboard put next to screenshots from the actual films you've studied i want a direct visual comparison equally you can take screenshots from your screenplay and put it next to screenshots from real screenplays preferably from the short films you've studied but not necessarily if you type out 
the screenplay extract, they don't count to your overall word limit, to your total, okay? Doesn't matter if they're pictures. Finally, creating meaning and effect. An evaluative analysis of how your production creates meanings and generates responses from the spectator in relation to other professionally produced films or screenplays, including at least one of the short films studied. So what you're doing is you're saying, oh, I saw this filmmaking technique being used here and I have copied it or I have been influenced by it in this way. All right. That's basically a continuation of the first one. So think about the first bullet point being denotation, the second bullet point being connotation. So what techniques have you used for the first bullet point and for the second bullet point? How, why have you used those techniques? What were you trying to communicate? How are you using that technique to provide information for the audience? Now, this could be through the aesthetics, through the shot types, camera angles, editing, sound, reason, sound, whatever. Or it could be through your use of dialogue. Okay? And as, a, as exposition. Or oh, not as exposition as the case may be. Alright? No longer than 1800 words, no fewer than 1600 words. Forget this nonsense about plus or minus 10%. I want it spot on. Yeah? 1,599 words, unacceptable. 1,801 words, unacceptable. Bearing in mind, though, certain things do not count towards that word limit. Your name at the top of it. Your candidate number at the top of it. The question you might have written out. Subheadings. Captions for pictures. Extracts from screenplays. None, like, referencing you've done. None of that counts towards the word limit. It's only the body text that counts towards that word limit. This video will be on YouTube. You will be able, you can find the instructions for writing the evaluation on Moodle. You've been given them ages ago anyway. But that needs to be done by the deadline. All right, 31st of January, absolute latest, but you should have really done it by now, to be honest. But that's the absolute deadline. Okay, if you've got any questions, drop me an email. You are not likely to have any time to do this in class, unless you finished your other work. In which case, you're going to need to be doing this in your own time or in support sessions or in study periods. If you've not done this yet, or you look at that and think, oh, I haven't done that bit. In study period, get into the computer room and get on with it. Okay? I'll talk to you when I get back.